Netcare operates the largest private hospital network in South Africa and also operates as an independent service provider to the National Health Service in the UK. It has a major UK debt facility to refinance by October 2013, and that's the deadline that Paul was referring to. It has a market cap of around 23 billion rand, price to earnings ratio of 13, and a dividend yield of 3.3%. So management right now at Netcare sweating it mm. out, thinking how are we going to repay this? They've indicated that they've got a team that's looking at it and working on it, but this is a facility which actually expires then, so it has to be refinanced. They basically have to go out into oh, the market. Great time to refinance anything. Typically, they've kept it away from the local South African cash flow base. And remember, there are physical buildings. When they bought that general healthcare group, uh, again, you know, five, seven, or whenever it was years ago, they thought at first they might offload the buildings to a property holding company, but that never came to pass because then the crisis hit and so on. So they basically stuck with it. Not a bad business, and it's a nice position. And you know, the UK, lots of people there, lots of money, lots of people getting aged and sick and so on. So I'm not saying it's the worst business in the world, and I think they will refinance it. The trouble is the market's not quite sure yet what the terms of that are going to end up being, I think. Are you concerned about this debt? Can we call it debt overhang? Well, okay, so, one of the, so that was one of the things that was depressing the, the stock for quite a while. Uh, recently, what's, uh, what's, been, what's, what's come out is that this debt sits predominantly in the PropCo. You've got the PropCo and the OPCO. Now, the leases for the hospitals sit in the OPCO, and, they, and, and as long as Netcare meet, uh, meets their lease obligations, that is completely shielded from the PropCo debt. So theoretically, Netcare could just let that debt default. It's up for uh, refinance in October 2013, and they could, and they could carry on with, with the situation in the UK. Per, I mean, I don't think because of reputational issues, et cetera, they would let it default, but the option is there for them to let it default without huge effects operationally on the business, and that puts them in a much stronger negotiating position for that debt. Mm. So, so things are looking much better since, since that came to light. All right, now let's just have a look at the share price here. Obviously, your, your typical dip uh, over that tough financial crisis, and then we've pretty much flattened out, uh, trading just above that 15 rand level. Mm. Right. So, so more or less, just before that peak, that's when the news of the Opco Propco. Oh, I see. That's when you <laughs> bought or you accumulated more, uh, and then it rallied further. More or less. In terms of your mm. holding, do you have exposure to Netcare? We or don't. Do your have I don't exposure? have personally. We do have some clients that own it. Um, I think the interesting thing is it's always had top management. People like Richard Friedland. He's a great communicator. He's been there for quite a long time. He's good now, at the finance it? stuff. And even his predecessors, Jackie Chevel was the same, and Marty Sachs before him. So a great group with a strong entrepreneurial culture. They've done very well in South Africa. Again, you know, they've exported that culture to the UK, and I think they're going to do fine. I, I don't know. I mean, I hear what Daniel is saying, that they could basically make it the bank's problems that hold that debt and then renegotiate a better deal at the 11th hour. But I guess, uh, you know, that has to be, uh, you know, visible first before the company starts. But it's trading on a 13 PE compared to those others which are on 20 plus. So Potential upside then. He's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> but I'm not going to ask you first, hot or not. And don't take into account the smile. Hot mm, or not on net cap. Look, I think it could become hot at a point, you know, closer to that deadline. Uh, but for the moment, I, th I still think it's a good grounds to avoid. I mean, I... If you're, if you're very you positive this about by yourself, are you? <laughs> very positive about Europe, then you could go for hot. Anxious about Europe, not. <laughs> well, it speaks for himself. I mean, that speaks for itself in terms of not being able to make a decision. Uh, Daniel, let's see what you have to say, and we'll ask Paul again. Hot or not on Netcare? Uh, I mean, look, it's run very hard. It's two rand up on 14 rand since the Opco Propco issue came to light. Um, so, with some pullbacks, I'd, st I'd say still hot. Still hot, and now, sir, would you like to change your indecision? Nope. You going? Um, you can't say hot no, 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 and maybe, not. No, uh, but I think what I was trying to communicate is may get hotter, but for the moment, not.